Hey there guys, welcome back to another Brick City episode. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit how to build a city stoplight. Um, just for your LEGO city, if you have like a little town or whatever you want. Um, I'm going to give a huge shout out to uh, Bevan's Bricks. He actually inspired me to do this video and I uh, thought I would just show you the pieces you would need to build your own light. And I'm also going to get into why I built mine differently than he did and kind of the plus and minuses to his design versus mine. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get right into that. So without further ado, I'm just going to show you guys. These are the pieces here. I got um, the normal light pieces and then I also have um, these uh, brick modified pieces. And so now with this out of the way, I'm going to show you exactly how to build this. Okay guys, so we have all the pieces here. We're going to start out by taking these uh, brick modified pieces and we're going to stack two of these studs together, just like that. Now we're going to put this at the bottom. Then we are going to be putting the tiles on right here. I just do it around the three sides where you, um, will, just to cover up kind of what's going on here in the middle. And then I got this uh, plate right here. This is what we're going to put the uh, stop lights on. I got the green, the yellow, and you could use, um, this is too where I did it different than Bevan's Bricks. I did the flat round pieces like the Ghostbusters set um, and not the, uh, not the uh, ones that are like a stud like what he used. And then just snap that right on here. And then you put this little guy right up here. And then you have your completed stoplight. And again, this is cool. I'm gonna show you the one that he did in his video. This is exactly what he built right here. Um, the only thing that varies is uh, he used blue Technic pieces. And then right here, he used the stud instead of the flat pieces. But here's my problem with what he did. First off, I don't like how this looks up here with the robot arm thingy. And then I also don't like how this back piece is not meant to be connected. I almost feel like that's like an illegal, a very illegal building technique. Just how everything was connected here because you can see that the after you snap everything onto this and you put into there they're snapped in all the way and you put this right here it just it doesn't work it just you can see that gap that's one thing he didn't show you in the video and uh well i'm just gonna show you his video right now so you guys can watch that here you go now to me this is not a truly finished traffic light until you get the back on it because to me that looked horrible if you're going to leave it that way which I do want to point out, if you want to have the traffic light, so if you don't have to make as many of these, uh, have lights on both sides, you can actually very easily put a one by 2 plate in there, and then it makes this all the same height, and then you could put three more studs on that side. So in, in that situation, you would have uh, a double-sided traffic light. Me, personally, because I'm putting four of these at any intersection, I wanted them only to have colors on the one side. So what I did to do that <clears throat> is I take these little technique pins and I slide them in the hole, which is a little tricky. Let me get that. There we go. Now you can put that back in there. And then you take your plate, now that you have something for it to grab to, and you snap that on there. So now the traffic signal looks totally complete to me. That's why I did that that way. And now you can take and snap that on the end of your light pole. And you have your traffic signal. Oh, you guys. So, yeah, that's how he built his light. And although I think his light is cool. And let me just give you the pros and cons. First off, I like how this part is definitely a lot more flat here. Um, versus mine, I feel like mine does stick out a little bit in the front. And the top is a little bit more compact than his. And uh, I also... Kind of like how I don't have this yellow piece right here on mine. Um, it keeps it kind of simple and just all black. It's a, kind of a cool design. I definitely like both of them. And again, this isn't a smack down to Bevan's bricks or to like belittle him at all. He actually, you know, is a great LEGO YouTuber. He has more subscribers than me and I definitely respect him in the LEGO community. I was just bringing this all up to show you guys that I was a little disappointed because when he said, you know, just kind of, uh, 
part out the uh, Ghostbusters set on Bricklink. I did all that, and uh, I was a little disappointed when I got this in the mail. You know, the piece is kind of how he did, and I, I didn't see this in his video, really, because he never really brought up the plus and minuses of it. And quite honestly, I felt like it would be better, just better off to leave the back part like this, rather than put on these extra pieces. I followed everything he said as far as building this street light. Again, I got tons of these robot arms and everything, and if I just start building this out real quick, you guys can see how close it actually is to um, the one he built. Um, but I did have to order extra pieces, like I said, for that light, because I, I was not satisfied with how he built his. And I'm not saying there's a right way and a wrong way, I just kind of felt like that's an illegal building technique, and I kind of like what I'm doing a little bit better as far as the light goes, because let's be honest, his way just he kind of like took the Ghostbusters set and tried to make it better but really the Ghostbusters set was kind of a tear down and rebuild so as you can see I got pretty much the same all the same parts that he had um, I didn't go as thick at the base because I really don't want to call attention to that besides the cars in my city don't really go taller than this peg right here so um, yeah I'm happy with this design also one thing I wanted to point out is in his video he had a little tube going from this point to this point again using um, this robot arm he just stuck it right into the back of here like this and then kind of turned it a little bit to where you'd have a tube going from here to there and I looked at those on Bricklink and I'm sure you can get them from another country for fairly cheap I couldn't find money for under two dollars to be quite honest and you don't really need a tube to kind of create that arch over this. If you want more detail, I'm sure you could. Um, but quite honestly, I think they look fine just like these two right here. And again, the one here on the left is the one that Bevan's bricks, kind of the same like he did here. That's his style. And then this is my style right here. Um, and I, I, I like that better too because it doesn't hang as far from the top too. So which is why you don't need as big of a base. If you do just part out the Ghostbusters set, I would just part it out to get these pieces right here and uh, maybe some of these like uh, yellow pieces and stuff. Like here's the light that I did, like these yellow pieces. Um, just try and find everything you can, but where I'd change it is just kind of what I did right here. So I think that'll wrap up today's video. Um, thank you guys for joining. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys on the next Brick City episode. Peace out, guys.